You guessed it, my friends. We're feeding the boys this morning. See, the mailman just ran. We'll go get the mail in a minute. Tell you a quick story. Well, I don't know how quick it'll be. I was thinking about my younger days when I was living in Florida. My brother and I belonged to an organization called the, the Hurricanes Drum and Bugle Corps. Actually, I think it was better known as the South Brevard Hurricanes. But we traveled all over the state of Florida. They'd put us in a bus and take us to Miami. We'd march in competitions against other Drum and Bugle Corps. Had our own concert formation where we marched around the field playing our songs and see who was the best. Quite similar to what you would see at high school or college football games at halftime. Still a lot of drum and bugle corps in existence today, I think. I played a valve bugle. Uh, but I was thinking we used to have to walk to practice. We practiced two or three days a week. Think about the incident one time when we were going to practice. Uh, speaking of the hurricanes, I might as well comment on them. We had a good time with that group. We played songs like, let's see, there was one about Miami, Moon Over Miami. Just a few of the songs I can think of off the top of my head is Rain, September in the Rain, Mademoiselle, Long Long Trail. Uh, I had a solo in Lazy River. Uh, I like that song. I know there was quite a few others. But we marched in Christmas parades in the area, marched in the Orange Bowl parade. Had a good time. But it was a lot of work involved in going to practice. My parents both worked. So we had to walk anywhere we were going. We did our practice on this huge parking lot at a shopping center. We had to walk from O'Galley to Melbourne, which is three and a half miles, I guess. But it's like a big L. You go east so far and then north so far. Well, I get the bright idea we're going to cut across country, save some time. Well, at that time in Florida, it's probably all populated now and housing projects and everything, but at that time, in, you cut through there, you're liable to be walking through swamps, defending yourself against snakes and alligators. Wild boar, we ran up on a wild boar one time out there. Had to climb a tree to get away from him. I said, we're going to get to practice by cutting cross country to Melbourne. And that's what we did. But I didn't take in consideration the Melbourne airport was between us and there. Sure enough, I get to the edge of their runway. Uh-oh. I hadn't thought about this. But I can see them. airport facilities and the tower and everything. My first near to that intersection down the corner, half a mile away. Gotta walk across all these runways. Well, we make sure there's no planes coming. We walk quickly across the airport. Remember, we're carrying two uh, valve bugles in a case, similar to a trumpet case. We make it all the way across the airport, the runways and stuff climb over this fence. I can't think of the name of the street we found ourselves on. I believe there was a military academy on that road. But anyway, here comes the Melbourne police racing up to us with his light going. Got out and detained us. Started asking us questions. Real expressing his authority. He was doing a pretty good job, but he wasn't intimidating me a whole lot. I was more intimidated by the fact that my father might find out we did something stupid like that and we'd wind up getting a whipping. Anyway, what you got in them cases, boys? 
Oh, this is a bad bugle. We're going to bugle practice. Don't get smart with me. I said, what you got in them cases? Is that a bomb? I said, no, it ain't no bomb. It's a bugle. And uh, don't get smart with me, boy. Get in the car. We're going for a joy ride. I'm taking you to jail. Uh, he puts us in the car and takes us down to the city jail. They didn't actually lock us in jail. We were, I don't know, 13, 14 years old. Eventually they told us, if you want to get out of here, you got to call your parents. Well, both my parents were going to some lawyer thing in Orlando, Florida, which is 80 miles away. And my sister lived in the area, my stepsister, so I'll call her. She had been married a couple years at that time. Anyway, I called her and told her situation. She comes down there and got our tail out of jail. I don't think my father ever did find out about it. But that's the instance where I got hauled off to jail. Yeah, I guess nowadays they really would get suspicious if you were on an airport with some kind of case, but back in them days, we couldn't see the, the reasoning behind it. That's the story of Walter and the Hurricanes Drummy Bugle Corps. Thanks for listening.